We're working from Life Sciences Paper 1 of November 2022. Let's now look at question 3.5. The instruction is read the extract below and that's what you're going to do. Auxins control different aspects of growth and development in plants. They are known to influence the growth of stems, so that means make our stems taller, and they also stimulate the development of roots in stem cuttings in plant propagation. So there's our two functions. During plant propagation, that means making new plants out of old, a stem of a plant is cut, I'm going to cut the stem, and then placed in water containing artificial auxin. So there's our water with the auxin in it. We're going to place the stem into that solution. These auxins stimulate root development in the cutting. So you're given information. First question. Name two places in plants where auxins are produced. And you can get that information directly from what you've just read. We know that we're going to have auxins being produced in stem tips and in root tips. You might also use the correct terminology for the tips is at the apex, the stem apex and the root apex or tip. Say so two ways in which auxins cause an increase in the length of stems. Remember that auxins stimulate mitosis. So that means more cells are being added and that is going to make the stem longer. But another thing they do is they, elong, they elongate cells. So not only do we have more cells, but they cause those cells to elongate and that also increases length. Name one other plant hormone that causes an increase in the length of stems, those are your gibberellins. And the auxins, if we can look at a plant here, the auxins work from the apex of the stem. The gibberellins work in the internode section of the stem. But all we had to do was name gibberellins. Explain how auxins can be used in plant propagation to the advantage of nature conservation. Well, in the instruction to this question, you learned that you could take cuttings and put them in solutions of auxin and that would cause them to make roots. So what you could do in terms of nature conservation is take rare or endangered plants and you could, through this means of uh, artificial propagation, you could increase the number of the, these plants in order to bring down the rareness or figure out a way to make them less endangered. And so that is a way of helping to conserve the plants is by artificially cloning them and growing new plants from old. And that is it for question number three of section B.